Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I want to speak to you about jelly printing, uh, but I don't want to take you through the process of jelly printing because there's uh, you know lots of videos on jelly printing, but rather I want to take you through some of the stuff that you can use in order to create marks uh, for your jelly prints. Now this is part of our A to Z times two series, and um, I, I wanted to show you some of the things that I use in order to uh, create, you know, create marks on my jelly prints. Okay, so this here is number one is part of a uh, like a placemat, uh, not kind of a placemat, but the ones you put in fridges uh, to you know keep the glasses clean. So I just cut out a piece of this, and uh, that is what this is. Okay, so you can see that I've already used it on jelly prints. Okay. Then the next one is bubble wrap. Now, this works extremely well on jelly prints. Uh, and, uh, you know, you get this in all your packaging. Uh, or most of your packaging. So, so this was part of packaging over here. So, and these I would use and probably throw away if I have enough of them. So that's a clean one there. Uh, then you get, um, for example... Um, foam stickers so they would come like in packs something like this and then you just use some acetate some old acetate and then you can uh, peel them off and then stick them on there and then they become uh, your jelly uh, print mark making tools now the cheap ones uh, or the cheap alternatives are your milk bottle caps okay so you can see I have actually something on it and this I made, and all I used here is a foam, craft foam, okay? And I made a triangle, and you can see that I used it. And I just stuck it on some acetate and also packaging, and then I added that. And all you got to do is you got to do that, and you can use it on your jelly prints. And you can also turn it around and use it in that manner for jelly prints. So you can keep different sizes of it as well. So this probably came out from milk water bottle of water or something like this uh this came up from something else so i'm not sure then uh you can have a die cut so the this was a die cut so i ran this die cut through foam uh craft foam and then i um stuck two layers of it one on top of the other stuck it on some um acetate and we've got ones for die cuts uh, then you've got this here. I have no idea where I pulled this out from, but it probably looks like it's like a you know a play a child's play um, a bat, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. It looks that way. So I pulled this off. Obviously, whatever toy it was was broken. So these make fantastic uh, jelly print, uh, uh, you know, mark making tools for jelly prints. Then. This must have come in some sort of, um, um, what's the word I'm looking, gift wrap, because this is, uh, I don't know, kind of a ribbon, a netted ribbon, okay. Uh, this is from a, a sack of uh, onions or potatoes or whatever it is, so you can also use that and you'll bunch it up and you can use it like that, or you cut it and you lay it flat, all right. And then these here, mark making tools. So, you know, after you put your paint on it, uh, quite a bit of a mess over here. So let's just move these. Once you put your paint on your jelly plate, then you can take this and you can make marks on it. Right, so um, my jelly plate, I probably have to do a newer version of it because I've got it for quite a long time. Uh, and yeah, um, just, the idea was to show you how these, you know, all the different things you can use rather than doing jelly prints. And then uh, lastly is I took the, um, you know, the insides of these foam uh, cutouts and these can be found in children, children section, toy section. And I just made little circles. And then what I did over here and if you know you don't have access to any of those things and you just have access to um foam craft foam 
okay you'll definitely probably have access to bottle caps and stuff like that but let's say for the foam ones if you don't have access to the foam stickers then what you can do over here is you can use your um, um, one hole punch and punch into craft foam and then stick them I use kind of like fabric tack but my own glue uh, not my own um, I use fabric glue okay and then I use this here because I get the circles and then I get the squares so I managed to punch that through uh, some foam and then what I would do is that in order to be able to um, be able to hold it better for example then what I would do is I would take like a block like this and stick it on there or take a cap and stick it on there depending on um, what I'm creating but uh, I can do that so you can also make those okay so uh, very quick video on some of the things you can use for jelly printing I'll probably have to stick this down again maybe with some two-sided tape uh, that would work as well in fact it might probably work a little bit better than um, your glue uh, just that you need to have a glue that doesn't eat into the foam okay so hence the reason for fabric glue um, or fabric tack or whatever you you were using so very quick video just to show you some of the things that I use in order to do uh, jelly prints the list is not exhaustive by any means in fact uh, you, you can use leaves from the garden or, or twigs or um, flowers and they make the prettiest of prettiest prints and uh, you know just cut a few leaves of different sizes the ones with the veins you know where the veins are prominent that works very well as well and uh, yeah you can use them over and over again um, what what would be nice is that uh, you stick to a certain color palette and use those leaves there and then when you change up your color palette then uh, you know use a fresh set of leaves or whatever and they can be disposed with after that so I hope that you enjoyed this very very quick um, I just want to apologize for uh, not bringing a video to you uh, and this this is you know way overdue um i had some uh, uh i lost my voice <laughs> i lost my voice there were other complications but hey i'm here now and i'm good and i have my voice back and um do take care and if you enjoy this type of content then please do uh, consider subscribing to my youtube channel leave me a comment uh tell me what you use uh tell our subscribers and our viewers what you use to make your marks that uh, we don't have to go out and buy but we have them at home yes i mean uh, we uh, i did buy this and i did buy this but that's like you know if you've got children and they've got that then use that otherwise these things come in your packaging and things like that so put a comment down there and tell me what you use and um we can share ideas and if you like this kind of content and you're not yet uh uh, subscribe uh, please consider subscribing and also gives me give me a thumbs up it does help if you enjoy the content it does help me to get noticed on YouTube and pushes my videos up so that um, other people can learn from all of us bye bye take care and have a gorgeous uh, week ahead and stay blessed bye bye